Hi everyone. So today is part two of my Timu Craft Supply Review. So if you haven't seen um, part one yet, be sure not to miss it. In this part two video, I'll be showing the rest of what Timu sent me to review and some Timu items that I purchased on my own that happened to arrive around the same time that Timu sent me uh, this review package. Okay, so um, I do want to kindly thank Cherry from Timu for reaching out to me and asking if I would choose some products to show on my channel. And for those who may not have seen my part one video yet, I do want you to know that I am not receiving any monetary compensation for this video, nor do I receive compensation for anything that you may decide to order from Timu. The only thing I do receive is that I'm allowed to keep the products that I chose to review. And of course, as always, I do honest reviews. I will never tell you that a product is good if I don't believe it is. Um, also, be sure to check out the description box below. Timu has kindly provided my viewers with a 30% off discount code. And um, as always, the shipping is free. So be sure to remember to apply your coupon code at the checkout. And lastly, all the links to the products that I show will also be down below in my description box. Okay? So with that said, we'll get started and I'll show you some more goodies. Okay, so the first thing that Timu sent me were these beautiful little blending brushes. And these are very thick, very soft, and as you can see, good quality. And you receive 12 of these brushes, all in different colors, um, for $10.48, which is really a good deal. And I like the fact that they are in different colors because if you're working um, blending ink or uh, whatever you're blending onto a page, then you can kind of keep track of the colors if you're using several at once. But uh, yeah, this is really a good deal, I think, on these. And these are individually wrapped, and then they are placed again in a um, another wrapping over that. So I'll go ahead and pick these up, and I'll show you what else we have. Okay, so the next thing I received were these little um, sponge finger cots and these are um, uh, finger sponges for blending and smudging uh, inks or anything you want to smudge <laughs> and you can take this and um, distress the sides of a tag or paper whatever you'd like and um, I thought this was a nice quality and for five pieces for $1.38 I think that's a pretty good deal. I've seen these at Hobby Lobby in larger packages and they are not cheap and uh, same with Amazon so I was glad to see you know just a few of them for $1.38 this will kind of get you started and especially if you're brand new to uh, um, paper crafts. So I thought that was a really good deal and um, the next thing that Timu sent me these beautiful rolls of organza ribbon and I've shown that they're organza ribbon to you um, before you get I think something like uh, let's see 50 yards of this for a dollar ninety eight and they are very good quality they come in all kinds of uh, colors and I did purchase on my own some other colors. So this is a sky blue. And this was, this is the white. And then of course, um, the light purple. So I'm glad I got those. And um, I'll have to fix that in a moment. I'm going to set this aside. And then I'm going to show you this. Um, I asked Timu 
to sent me this little organizer and I showed this to you in um, a Timu haul a couple of videos ago and what I did with these and how I used these to organize my jewelry findings and so I got another one I figured this would be really good maybe to store my earrings in as well because they're in individual compartments um, so I don't think that they will tarnish as quickly so I'll, I'm going to find out <laughs> and I really do like their 28 grid organizers and they are a dollar seven right now during Christmas time I got them for 68 cents a piece so but their prices go up their prices go down things are constantly on sale so they're always changing prices and moving things around so um, the next thing I got now <clears throat> were these really nice clear stamps and I do like their clear stamps I've ordered um, a couple of them before and I've always had a lot of success with them and this was a dollar thirty-eight I originally asked to be sent um, some really pretty uh, clear acrylic I'm uh, not acrylic but silicone stamps um, they were dandelions but they ran out of those so they must have sent me this as a substitute and I believe the dandelion might be back up by now but uh, I'm going to try these and these are cute um, these are still very cute good quality I like that little bird there too so I'm going to try this out in a moment because I'm going to show you something else that TV sent me I thought these were very pretty and these are ink pads and these were a um, dollar ninety eight a piece which I thought was really good and they had many different colors but I chose a pretty purple um, a red and I like the deep rich colors this purple seems more like an eggplant purple I really like the deep colors and this is a real pretty blue and then we have a really pretty green they also had black and gray as well but I didn't get those so we'll go ahead and take this little block here and I'll just use the small stamps <clears throat> I'll start with maybe I'll just do the little bird put the little bird here and maybe a cupcake huh little tiny piece of candy here <laughs> okay so I'm going to start with the purple oh the pads are very juicy okay and it might help if I had a piece of paper to put this on <laughs> hold on for just a second I'm sorry Okay, so let's try that again. All right, and then I'm going to put this on a piece of cardstock. Very cute, huh? Very cute. And that's the purple. I'll set this aside, <clears throat> and I'm going to wipe this off quickly with a baby wipe okay so I did stamp a couple of other uh, cards and I'll show you those in a moment so we won't have to go through each and every one of them 
um, but I will do this green with you. And one thing I noticed about these, um, using the baby wipes to wipe off the little stamps with in the block, um, these are washable because when I use the baby wipes, the ink comes off my fingers. So that's wonderful. And I think this would be a wonderful way to start out if you're just new to paper crafting. See how juicy? And you don't want to spend a fortune on really expensive inks. This would be great at $1.98 a piece. Okay, I'm going to push these upwards here a little bit. And I'm going to put... There we go. There's the green. Isn't that nice? And then the ink wipes right off for you, like this, and I'll wash those a little more later on, but comes right off, and comes off your inky fingers too, see, wipes right off. Okay, so this is definitely a big yes for me. And I think I'm going to go back and purchase on my own the black and the gray as well. Okay, so now let's move on. Oh, you know what? I didn't show you the other cards. I'm so sorry. Okay, this was the purple one that we did. This was the blue one. And this was the red one. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to move this stuff aside. Um, and this will be the, the last item that Timu sent me to review, but stay tuned because I have 11 more Timu items to show you that I purchased on my own. I asked um, Cherry from Timu if I could include that um, in with the items that they sent me to review, and she said yes, that it was okay. So. I'm going to do that. Okay, so these two items I have to talk to you about. I asked Timu to send me a couple of frame sets, and this is the first one. They had a whole bunch of different frame sets for $3.88, and I thought that they would be really pretty. Um, I ran it through my cuddle bug multiple times I made different sandwiches to run through my cuddle bug um, I ran it through multiple times I spent a long time trying to get this right and for me I would have to say for me personally this would be a no-go um, as you can see part of it cut out beautifully some of the holes punched out and then there was parts like this that looked like it was barely embossed and honestly this was the best that I could do with this set um, so I would have to say a no to this one I'm sorry but and the other frame set that I purchased Oop, I said purchase, didn't I? The other frame set that was sent to me. This isn't something I purchased. Was this. And I had high hopes for this as well. I thought it was very pretty. And I did the same thing. And the outside circle, the best I could do was to emboss it. It looks like it started to cut out in certain places, but no matter what I did, it just wouldn't work. Now the middle part, right here, the hearts, those seemed a little sharper. Actually, they seemed quite a bit sharper. And so I was able to run those through, but that does not work for me if, you know, this part 
right here is not working. And you can feel the difference. These are sharper, and, and this is not. So, um, yeah. So I will continue to work with these, and if there is anything different about these, then I will let you know. Um, but so far, yeah. Okay. These are tin sheets of the metallic gold cardstock, and they also had this in silver. And this was wrapped in a plastic wrap, a large plastic wrap. And um, let's see, it was uh, $4.98, okay? So I took all 10 sheets out of the package. The first one, I'll try to do this without a lot of glare, had some scratches and some dents in it. And I think it's just because it was on the top. Because when I looked at the rest of them, they seem to be very nice. Very nice. So I liked these. And I'm going to take one of these and take a little butterfly stamp. I purchased this from eBay. It was used. <laughs> I think it was EK Success. So I'm going to... Whoop! There goes the butterfly. Punched out. Very nice. That's really cute. I might have to do something with that punch. Make some little gold butterflies. Aren't those cute? Yeah. Punched out nice. It's a nice weight. I really like this very much. Okay, so the following items um, were purchased by me personally from Timu and um, I asked Timu if um, I could add this on to this video and they said it was okay so I'm going to show you the first item I bought it's a 50 piece sticker set for $1.98 and these are little vintage posters they're very colorful and the first poster is of the Lane Hope Chess. Do you remember those? I um, I received my Hope Chess from my parents as a graduation gift when I graduated from high school. And I can remember a lot of friends of mine, um, they um, also had their parents give them Hope Chess. And this is a little old 7-Up ad. You know, there's a lot of detail to these little stickers. They're very cute. You know, you can add these to your journals. Brill cream, do you remember that? My brother has always had brill cream in their hair. <laughs> they hated it. <laughs> Men's Haberdashery items, belts, and <laughs> these are cute. And they have this. My eyes aren't that good, but even I can see some of the detail. Crisco recipes. You wouldn't be able to read something like that. The recipes. Unless you held it, a magnifying glass <laughs> up to it. But it, it is very detailed and I like the colors. Lemon pie. Oh, look at this old poster of Cher. <laughs> None such mince meat. And meat recipe booklet. Like Collier's National Weekly. Shamrock razor blades. Huh, those are cute. Really cute little poster things. 
see these boys. Star Theater. <laughs> Home like cake at a store? Look at that, though. See, look. <laughs> it's in a different language. Bakery shop. Have a Coca-Cola. <laughs> These are really cute. Oh, Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs. You remember them? They did a lot of guest spots on the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> and if you don't want to go through all these with me, you can go ahead and just skip ahead. But um, I wanted to show these to you because I think they're really cute. Perfume ad. Price guide to antiques. <laughs> Is that Flash Gordon bread? <laughs> the American Girl magazine. party. Adam's Rib. I remember seeing that, or watching that, I should say. Not when it first came out. <laughs> it's a bit before my time. Twitter. <laughs> Best Bakery here. Another pie one. Rebecca, Laurence Olivier, and Joan Fontaine. And, hmm. Buttermilk griddle cakes. You could definitely read this if you wanted to put a magnifying glass and get some vintage recipes, too. Look Magazine. So I think they were very nice. Okay, so um, $1.98 for those stickers. purchased this. I thought it was cute. And I only paid 98 cents for it. It's a, a Kiss Lock coin purse. Okay. And I think it's very well made. And it has a nice tight closure there. At first when I saw this on the uh, Timu website, I thought this was embroidered because it looked like it was embroidered. But it wasn't. And the coin purse is a little larger than I thought it was going to be. So I'll put some of my goodies in there. Not sure what yet, but I just thought it was cute. I like the little bird cages. <laughs> and then the next item that I purchased was this bag of acrylic leaf beads. And these were $1.48 for 100 pieces. I'll show you what they look like. Very nice. Very nice. And you can make earrings with these, of course. Which is what I'm going to be doing. And then I got some mixed leaves for 98 cents for 20 grams and as you can see it's a mixture of longer leaves 
in darker greens and lighter greens and the little um, leaves. I think they're similar to these right here. Maybe a little lighter in color. So that's a good deal. These would be for the longer dangly flower earrings. I don't know if I would use something that large, but they have smaller sizes in here too. I'll show you. Yeah, like, like this, which is nice. So I'm going to set this aside. And then I purchased this little um, silicone, it it's, looks like a doily, but it's a silicone mat. And it was a dollar eighteen. They had these in four different colors, and I chose the pink. These um, look like they were originally used um, with the wax melt kits, where if you want to set the little spoon down temporarily and it's hot, um, then this is the little mat to do it. But I bought it because I thought, you know. I have a lot of stuff on my desk when I'm crafting, so maybe this would be just the perfect size to um, put the nozzle of my hot glue gun over so I don't have to pull out the big pad like this, you know. And I'm not sure about how it would look, um, or how it would work, I should say. Uh, for a hot cup of coffee or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I'd ha I'll have to check it out because that's also an option, huh? If this works with a hot cup of coffee, that might be some really cute little lace-looking coasters. It'd be fun anyway. Maybe at a party or something like that. Okay, and then the next things that I purchased, um, they had these in a lot of colors. You get 10 yards um, for, let's see, I had it written down, for $1.19 a piece. And it's the flat lace. And I like it very much. This is the darker red. It's kind of a burgundy color. They had a bright Christmas red, but I chose the dark red thought that would be very nice and it's lacy and it's very flat which would work great if you were making um, journal cards or tags and this is in a pretty mint green very nice and they do have a ton of colors dark light and everything in between <laughs> and Oh, I also bought this for $2.48. There's 118 inches of this vintage looking washi. Now, I don't usually use a lot of washi, not that often, but this kind of caught my eye and I thought it might be cute to use um, in a journal. Or scrapbook. I think I'm gonna. They sealed it with a piece of washi tape at the very start. easier than trying to fiddle with it. Hmm. You know, I thought this was washi tape, but now I'm looking at it 
and it is not washi tape and it said washi in the description I don't think it's washi tape well I guess it would be considered washi tape but you have to peel off the backing here it feels like washi tape yeah you have to peel off the backing in order to use it so would you call this washi slash sticky tape here's the designs the designs are adorable I really love this. Wouldn't this be awesome for a collage or a glue book? Okay. And then it starts all over again. But you get 118 inches of this, which is really nice. Okay, so the next item I'm going to show you you may not consider a craft item, but I do because I saw the potential in it. And I'll show you in a moment. I got three of these earrings for a dollar forty-three each, and they are beautiful. Now these might look to you like they're Christmas earrings or um, fancy Christmas earrings or maybe even uh, going out on a date to a nice restaurant you would wear something like this but when the earrings are on sale like this at on Timu um, these were $1.43 I like to look at the potential to make other earrings with these for example I could use Now these are not hooked by jump rings, but I could cut this piece off right here, this little circular piece, and I would have a component to make an earring with, and then I could um, cut this off here and have another component. Now the middle might have those two circular things cut off but that's okay because now the circular thing in the middle you have for a beautiful flower center or a snowflake center or something like that and I think at a dollar forty three a pair it's well worth it and then of course you know this bottom part would also be another earring component and you would have two of those for $1.43 per card. So I keep my eye open for rhinestone earrings and a lot of times I'll go into Timu and I'll just type in rhinestone earrings. And you'll see things um, on flash sales and things like that, you know. Um, so you do it off and on throughout the year and, and that's where you pick them up. So I have to dismantle these and although I, I will say I do think these are beautiful, so I may just keep a pair for myself to wear around the holidays, just for the heck of it. But um, I, that's just an idea. And if you have family members um, who you know that are really into the dangle earrings and love things like this, make a beautiful gift and nobody would ever guess that you paid $1.43 for them. Especially if you put them in a fancy box, huh? <laughs> okay, and then um, I bought these two bags of jewelry making chain. They're 10 yards a piece in gold and silver. And the gold was $1.99 for 10 yards. The silver was a little bit more. It was two dollars and sixty cents for two. To, yeah, two dollars and sixty cents for ten yards. And I purchased these because I want to use some of this chain when I'm making earrings. And yes, I will be posting earring tutorials in the future. 
I'm not going to give an exact date, but and I think this is the perfect size because I'm using a head pin from Hobby Lobby and you can slip it easily. I can see <laughs> right through this chain so this would be perfect and for the type of earring I'm thinking of making yeah, just right. I'll see if I can do a close-up of this And then the silver, very nice silver. Okay. Well worth it for the price. Chain is not cheap when you purchase it at places like Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Michael's. And then, um, oh, I wanted to show you these I purchased as well. These were a dollar nineteen for ten pieces. They had various shades. These are little flowers. To me, they look like seashells, but when you feel them, um, you can tell they're acrylic. And what you would do is maybe put a tiny little bead on here and let me grab one of the blue ones here I like to show you what they look like anyway they kind of look like shells don't they they're very well made but you would turn these into flowers and of course make your loop back here and you can hang them on earrings aren't they pretty yeah. So I have got a lot of ideas with these wonderful craft items. And I like the multi shade ones. They had some that were a multi shade of reds and pinks as well. I got the the purples and pinks and blues. Like that. And so I have one more item to show. And I bought these, what they call retractable blade pens on Timu for 48 cents for each one. Now they have a lot of different types of um, blade pens, but I thought this was nice because look how tiny that blade is can you see it you might be able to look how tiny and it's a precision blade let me take my tea towel off here because I don't want to cut into that I'll move this up a little bit and I'm just going to put a piece of cardstock down and I imagine it's, yeah, for getting into really small places. You want to cut it out. Now this is a uh, card piece of heavy duty cardstock. And I think it cut pretty well even for this. I wasn't applying a ton of pressure on it, but you can see. And when I say this is heavy duty, I mean this is like a 110 pound cardstock. So, for example, if you were to use, you know, an average piece of paper like this, it would probably work a lot better. So I'll show you. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can. You can really. does work, see? It does work. So 
I imagine this is probably to cut little tiny details in things, maybe for fussy cutting. Yeah. So it does work. Um, I'm sure you'll have to kind of practice to kind of get used to things at first. Okay. So that is pretty much it. And I thank you so much, and I appreciate you sticking with me. And um, thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope to get some more tutorials up. Um, I was hurrying to make these two videos because in a couple of days I'm going to need um, my tooth pulled. And so I knew I'd probably be out of commission for a few days. <laughs> so um, right now they... I'm on amoxicillin to fight the infection, so anyway, with that said, I know, lovely stuff, huh? <laughs> with that said, um, take care, and God bless each and every one of you, and thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.